Hello, 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 welcome to Firearms of America and today as you guys can see we have another pair of Salomon boots to review but this time it's actually not boots it's actually XA Pro 3D and I mean you can say they're kind of boots but these are more of a trail running shoes, trail shoes, uh, sneakers really whatever you want to call them to me they are more like boots because they do have that you know, if they were just a little bit taller in the shaft, they would have been boots. So, <laughs> doesn't really matter. Let's start re re the review. So, so first of all, this this particular version is not GTX. If you do want GTX, they do have them with the GTX, which is the waterproof, you know, the Gore-Tex. Uh, they are about $30 more expensive, but you do get the GTX uh, fabric. Personally, I think there is no point, there is not much reason to get GTX whenever it comes to the shorter shaft uh, boots or shoes, just because it is, you know, it, it's so easy already for the water to get in. Uh, if you don't have time to watch the whole review, I love overall, there are no complaints about this boost except for one, it's the sizing. It's a little bit, to me, it seemed like they are running a little bit too small so keep that in mind if you are buying these boots get them amazing amazing shoes amazing boots whatever uh just just make sure you get at least a half a size bigger than your normal one all right so let's start the review this review is specifically for our ultimate survival boots section i picked these shoes i know they're not boots they're shoes but i picked them because if you guys know if you ever watched any of my reviews i do prefer the mobility factor whenever it comes to the survival situations i do want to be able to run faster to climb to not have any restrictions to my movement to the mobility so that you know i can you know fight jump climb do whatever uh, because as you guys know, with a lot of different protection comes a lot of weight, a lot of bulkiness, and it's just, you know, it's, it's a personal preference, but it's something important to consider. So these boots, whenever it comes to mobility, they are all the way up to the mobility side. Sacrifice protection, but a lot of mobility. So, as an Ultimate Survival Boots um, review, we're going to talk about several different categories, just like I do for all of my uh, boot reviews the very first one being the comfort level whenever it comes to the comfort level Solomon they are great at nailing that particular part and there are a lot of things that contribute to it first of all is the ortholite the ortholite is the special inner sole that Solomon utilizes in I don't know if they utilize it in all of their boots but all the boots that I have reviewed so far and shoes like this one uh, they do have that ortholite and it is it's really good. It's it is that jelly, uh, you know, feeling that it gives you. But at the same time, it is very firm. So it's not just you don't just feel weird and wobbly like you put your sh foot into you know whipped cream or something. But <laughs> it does feel nevertheless very soft. Takes a lot of impact, uh, absorbs a lot of impact, so you don't get that impact transfer to your you know to your feet, to your ankles, to your knees. Uh, so it's very comfortable to run on them and comfortable to walk in them, obviously, for a very long time. Wearing them is not a problem. Uh, the test that I usually do for all my shoes uh, is a three-mile walk, uh, five, no, wait, wait a second. It's a five-mile walk, three-mile run. It's a three-mile run first and then the five-mile walk. And the total wear time is about eight hours without taking the shoes off. Uh, with these ones, it was an absolute breeze to run, obviously, because they're extremely light. They basically feel like you're wearing nothing, like you're barefoot. Uh, because of that inner sole, that ortholite, it takes a lot of impact. Because the bottom sole is very flexible, and really just like all of the boots from Salomon that I have reviewed, they do have that variable, very flexible bottom sole. Uh, so it is very comfortable to run in them and you can run properly in them so that you don't take a lot of, uh, don't put a lot of stress on your uh, knees and your ankles and you know, stuff like that. You, you can run properly. Uh, another thing that I do want to mention whenever it, it kind of contributes to the comfort levels is the Sensifeet. Sensifeet is the sort of special technology that Salomon uses 
Uh, it's basically the way the shoe wraps around your foot and it creates that sort of additional support for that stability, for the traction, and it contributes to the comfort level. I, I think it is, it, it, it's very important to mention it here. Okay, so uh, enough with the comfort, you know, comfort wise, whenever it comes to the uh, comfort level overall, the first criteria. Out of 10, I would give it a 9.5. I can't give it the full 10 just because of the sizing problem, as you remember, I've mentioned. And uh, just because they were running kind of a little bit too small for me. Uh, they are the size 10 and usually the size 10 is a half a size bigger for me. Uh, so I get all my hiking shoe wear in a half a size bigger, which is just a good practice to keep in mind. Uh, but this one, the size 10, they were a little bit too small which is which is a little bit strange but yeah just keep that in mind all right so the criteria number two is the proofing and protection now like i said this particular um model that i have in my hands is not gtx so they're not waterproof but for additional 20 to 30 dollars depending on you know where you get it from you can get it in gtx in the gore-tex version so that you can have that waterproofing if you want uh but that that's really it there's really not much of the protection going on as you can see there is a very nice uh cover it's, it's a harder rubber here on the front toe so it does give you a little bit of protection here not much because it, it is sort of soft but still nice to have uh there is a little bit of uh you know your heel reinforcement here on the back which is pretty hard and it's, it's pretty good to have that and here uh, there is this you know sort of a heavier fabric textile or you know whatever that is vinyl that is going around and kind of gives you a little bit of support and and really that's it there is really not much that now one thing I guess we can mention here whenever it comes to the protection is the bottom sole they do utilize uh, a contact grip uh, you know, bottom sole, which is, again, one of Solomon's, you know, signature uh, technologies that they use that gives a grip. But the part of it is that there is two types of rubber. It's the harder rubber here on the bottom and the softer rubber here on the top. So that softer rubber gives you the flexibility that you need, you know, for running, for walking, adds up to the comfort. And the bottom, you know, the, the harder part is to kind of protect you, you know, if you step on something sharp or pointy. Other than that, there's really not much. And of course, we cannot expect anything more from, from the shoes, obviously, because that's the shoes. So let's talk about the criteria number three, which is the quality and design features. Now, a lot of the design features I have already mentioned. Uh, there are a few I'll go through. Quality-wise, you know, if you check on Amazon, the reviews are absolutely amazing. You know, there's really not much stuff that has that many reviews, uh, that many positive reviews. It's almost 1,900. No, I think it's more than 1,900, actually, positive reviews, five-star reviews on Amazon. I will uh, put the link in the description below if you want to go and check it out and read some of the reviews uh, from people that you know are professional hikers and do hiking on the daily basis uh one really cool design feature that i wanted to mention here is the lacing system i honestly wanted to get into this for since the beginning of this review the lacing system is absolutely amazing i really wish that <laughs> everything all my shoes were just with this type of cool lacing system uh first of all obviously as you can see there is really nothing much that you need to do to tighten the shoes besides just doing this and that's it pretty cool right and then you can tuck this in somewhere um, I think it would be cool if Salomon implemented a special whatever to kind of click this in and hold it uh, but it's just a recommendation if you guys are watching Salomon watching yes yes my ideas <laughs> and, and the same way you 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 know I t untighten this boot is that so really, really cool, really cool system. But here's the thing. Um, it's not just that. It's the way it's the way it tightens. Just take a look at, you know, just look at all of the areas of this strings. Uh, just take a look. Look how 
What's what, what's what's a good word? Harmoniously, <laughs> proportionally, all of these areas tighten. They tighten at the same time, and I think this is really cool. You know, you you're trying to pull on the string, and then this area gets tighter, but this doesn't. It's not the case with these shoes. I I don't know how they did it. Maybe it has to do with the way this string starts from here and this string starts from here. Maybe not, but I, I really, really do love the fact that whenever you're putting them on, all you really need to do, you don't need to adjust you know, the pressure here, you don't need to adjust the pressure on the top, all you do is this, and it just you know, perfectly tightens as, as it should. I, I think it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, another thing, little thing that I wanted to mention here, as you can see, there's this mesh that is going kind of holds, uh, uh, the tongue behind it so that dust and you know whatever you can find on the trail doesn't get in inside of the shoe I think that's another cool feature uh, to mention so uh, let's 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 be done with the quality and the design features let's talk about the number four which is the outsole traction and stability now whenever it comes to the traction whenever it comes to stability Solomon's they do absolutely amazing job and it really has to do a lot with this bottom sole the way they design their bottom soles is really really good in these shoes in this running you know trail shoes as you can see there is a really good balance between the aggression and at the same time they are pretty flat there is really not much sticking out but if you do go you know whenever you do run on those surfaces that do need that aggression you do get these grooves do their job as they are supposed to and i think salomon they just they're just one of the best companies out there that nail that balance this 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 right here is where i can easily give a 10 out of 10 whenever it comes to the bottom sole balance because they were they performed very well on all of the surfaces that i tried them on on tarmac on the sand on the wet grass on the rocky road you know the trail roads that i have around my house they just perform very well and at the same time they are not too slippery and uh, not too you know wobbly on surfaces like you know flat surfaces shiny surfaces like tile and marble so great job Solomon you again you did absolutely fantastic job out there okay so number five let's talk about number five is the temperature now obviously the temperature wise you wouldn't expect them to protect you in you know freezing temperatures in cold temperatures in the winter uh, just because you know they're obviously just the shoes but I can comment on the hot temperatures because I do live in Florida and I was running in a hundred uh, degree temperature uh, <laughs> and I did not overheat at all so the breathability is fantastic now with the Gore-Tex if you do get the Gore-Tex Gore-Tex they do tend to run a little bit hotter just a little bit hotter than the regular ones so keep that in mind you know if you do live in a hot temperatures like I do for example in Florida and you go to the trails often I would stick to the non Gore-Tex um, version of this boot but again it's, it's really a preference because you know we do get a lot of rains here in Florida so having a waterproof shoe would be a nice plus so number six is the sizing and this is unfortunately where we have a little bit of a um, a little bit of a problem I'm not sure why but they do run a little bit small uh, my, 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 my front toe my toe not front toe just just the toe the big toe it was it was hitting the front <laughs> whenever i was running and, and it did get a little bit uncomfortable because of it uh and like i said i do get all my hiking gear all my hiking shoe wear in size 10 my normal shoe size is nine and a half so i kind of do get already that extra space but in size 10 these shoes they they were a little bit too small for me uh, so I would probably get them in size 10 and a half for myself or size even maybe possibly 11 uh, so keep that in mind number seven criteria number seven I think this is the most important one uh, in our review here this is you know as I said this is ultimate survival boots uh, and the number seven is the balance of application and that means is if this were your last shoes, you know, your last boot shoes, whatever you put on before you run out of your house and you don't get a chance to have another pair of shoes because you 
are surviving you're trying to survive you're in the wilderness you are in the city you're running through different terrains through the forest through the you know on the beach i don't know you're running away from somebody uh <laughs> from savages trying to get get you trying to steal your food or whatever you're fighting all of these different scenarios right whatever you can think of just think about the craziest survival movie and imagine yourself in there if this were the shoes that you put on would they be good i think they would be great if you find the right size if you find if you match the size perfectly i think they would be great uh but it all comes down to personal preferences because in the beginning if you remember i said that it really depends on what you want you want more protection or do you want more mobility and flexibility and all of these things uh with the protection obviously there is really you know sky's the limit you can have a composite toe you know steel toe you can have you know steel plates going protecting your ankle your heel you can have a huge thick bottom sole just to protect you from you know stepping on the nail or something like that you can have um you know radiation protection in your you know some work boots they come with that all sorts of different weird things that you can have for all those protections or you can have something light like this that you will just speed through wherever wherever you really are so pretty cool uh pretty cool section as you as you can you know as you can <laughs> as you can imagine pretty important one so i think for me I would, as, as I mentioned already, I would go more towards the mobility. So these boots definitely do, these shoes or boots, whatever, whatever you want to call them. They definitely do uh, look attractive to me. I would say in the top 10, as long as I could find the right size, as long as I could figure that out and match my size to it. Overall, on the balance of application, I would give these boots... Uh, a solid 8 out of 10, which is pretty high as you guys, if you, if you watched any of my reviews. Uh, but I think they are pretty good. I would, I would definitely get them and, you know, just for my trail days, <laughs> just for the hot trail days, just amazing boots. Uh, the very last criteria that I wanted to mention here is the criteria number 8, which is the price. Now, the price, you can find these boots for as low as $110. Uh, this particular pair I bought for 130. It really depends on what color you get, what size you get. Uh, like I said, the link is in the description below, so you can check it out. And of course, like I said, the Gore-Tex, the GTX version, they do uh, have that for 20 to 30 dollars more expensive. And if you're interested in having your running trail running shoes waterproof, you can take a look at those as well i think the price is pretty good uh but at the same time there are a few other that i already reviewed a few other boots actually boots from salomon for pretty much the same price that might be a little bit more applicable to your ultimate survival situation so again it really depends if you are getting them for trail running you will be you will absolutely love them just get them in the right size you know just don't get them too small because it will hurt <laughs> but if you are getting these boots for your ultimate survival situations uh check out a few other reviews on salomon boots that i have done here on this channel and you might you might like uh something else uh that you know that, that you will see so thank you very much guys for watching let me know what you think about the shoes would you even consider them for your ultimate survival or not what are the pros what are the cons if you already have them let me know your experience with these uh if you have any requests definitely let me know in the comments below because this is how i most of the times try to determine what is the next uh, pair of shoes or boots that I have to review uh, to kind of accommodate because I don't want to just do something that you guys don't don't really care about. I want to do something that you are interested in checking out. So let me know. Uh, like I said, all the you know all the specifications and stuff, all the links are in the description below. So if you if you need to check it out, it's right there. Thank you very much for watching. This was Firearms of America, and I will see you guys in the next video.